21 hours and 43 minutes into the day of July 3rd, I believe it is. Yes, it's July 3rd, Tuesday, July 3rd, 2012. Uh, I'm just getting started here at the, at the uh, research desk. Uh, I've now got three full working offices with overlapping functions. So, not uh, workspaces, anyways. Uh, so, that's all working and fine. Uh, the construction seems to have passed me here. We'll see what type of noise level there is, so we'll see what type of shoot I can do, what type of uh, filming I can sh and shooting I can do. I'm going to be trying, as of today, to increase the amount of work that's done. Uh, so look for that. Uh, I, 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 you can see that on the feed. I'll also be making announcements and on Twitter. As to this effect, you can sort of follow this on Twitter, on Physics TV. You know, there's a lot of different areas where you can follow what's going on even though not everything is going to be published to uh, the channel. Uh, if you notice, Big Bang Theory RL is now in Season 2, but there's also three dimensions to, there are three dimensions to uh, Big Bang Theory RL. There's X, which is the main, then there's Y, and then there's Z. So there are three dimensions to it. And the Y is for tags and comments, and the Z is for uh, everything else is that, that that sort of doesn't fit into the Y category that gifts uh auditions uh, so so for something along, along those lines there. And uh you'll see that uh, there's uh cyborgs and cybernetics and then there's Ubuntu BSD Unix Tal. Uh I might be bringing these shows back in a very limited form. It depends on the type of shooting schedule I can get done here uh, for some of the other channels that I need to get done for. Uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, right now it's kind of ruled the uh, big uh, Ubuntu BSD, the whole Ubuntu BSD unit at the hotel and the cyborgs and cyberdizers has been rolled into uh, uh, Big Bang Theory. A lot of the ground that would be uh, applicable to those two playlists, those two shows, uh, are actually is actually being done here in Big Bang CRL. You will see, uh, like we're, we've done our video editing, we've done six months of video editing. Uh, the new step-in project now that would be applicable to uh, USB uh, uh, um, Ubuntu BSD Unix Hotel would be uh, the Linux Music Studio. We're going to move into that more uh, to see what can be done there, and then of course. Once these things as get going more, uh, and the develop the, the developer desktop, the open source develop, uh, desktop uh, actually starts uh, operating. That's what I'm building behind me. Uh, we'll get more into that as well. So in other words, uh, a large chunk of what would go into uh, the separate shows are actually being done here in Big Bang Theory. Also, question is: Is there enough material uh, to warrant? Uh, doing a regular bit or just periodically adding in something separate that would go beyond Big Bang Theory or else that would warrant its own show. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how things go. Uh, right now, <laughs> what happens is that I have to, for the Linux Music Studio, I have to relearn my music all over again. So I'm starting at the beginning just with the scales. Uh, and so that's going to be the whole bit first. Scales, uh, learning how to record to, the, uh, to their finding what the optimal settings are, playing around with a lot of the different uh, options and the filters, and uh, just basically looking at uh, whether or not you can do on Linux what can be done on Mac in terms of music development. 
and we'll see where that takes us. And of course, because we were dealing with the Linux Music Studio, and this is where we can sort of leverage off of the Linux Music Studio and go into Cyborgs and cy uh, Cybernetics, um, because there is in Japan this application called Vocaloids, uh, which is connected to music, there isn't any reason why you couldn't do Vocaloids in Linux. And this is sort of the, the key here is, is that once we get into the Linux Music Studio, we're going to be leveraging off the Linux Music Studio, uh, and this is not just the specific uh, uh, app that's with the Linux Music Studio, but I'm talking about the entire desktop and the, the, all the ver variety of different apps. We can leverage off of there into Vocaloid uh, uh, in Linux, and then from Vocaloid in Linux, we can get into uh, uh, TTS, text, uh, text to speech, uh, and then of course, uh, 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 speech uh, speech to text, going back, you know, speech recognition going back from voice to text. Uh, and that right there could provide a human interface between the computer and the uh, human being where the interconnect is vocal rather than being uh, a standard keyboard input. Right now things are standard keyboard input and uh, so in other words we can use our Vocaloid uh, understanding our growth of an understanding in the, uh, of how the sound system works to create a um, interactive uh, system. And once you've got an interactive system, then you have to start putting in some of the AI in there uh, to really make it more uh, intelligent and then, or seemingly intelligent, and then sort of start trying to push boundaries on that. Uh, so. Yeah, a large chunk of what's being done because I'm doing Big Bang Theory RL as not only my, myself, Daniel the Scientist, but I'm doing it as cy Cyborg Alpha. The scientist and the computer linked together. Uh, in the Cyborg Project, a large chunk of the two uh, shows, Ubuntu BSD, Unit Total, and Cyborg and Cybernetics, uh, will actually overlap. So. We'll see how things go. We'll see if we do need it, it, uh, its own show or, or, or um, extra episodes. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Play it by ear. If you're a, a Unix fan, if uh, you're part of the Unix BSD, uh, Unix, uh, Ubuntu BSD, uh, 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 excuse me, the Ubuntu BSD Unix Atal show, if you're part of that show, you're a fan of that show, or you're a fan of Cyborg and Cyborg, and want something extra. Now, what I'm not going to be doing is I'm not going to be doing a review show. I'm not going to be doing a review in other words. But it's going to be, uh, these shows are going to be from the developer's perspective. It's that those of you who really want to get into the nitty gritty uh, uh, of the environment. Uh, so it's not going to be an industry tutorial. It's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be review, it's going to be more involved in that. So if you want more episodes within those two areas, let me know. Well, comment on the face uh, on Facebook or, or, or on the, in the comments in Big Bang CRL saying that you want more content uh, in terms of the Cyborg Center. I'll try to get that out. I don't know how fast it's going to roll. It really depends on how much time I have and how well <laughs> my music goes along with it as well. So, we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, I'm going to get on to the rest of the day now. And I will see you uh, in a little bit, a couple hours. A couple, I'll check back in a couple hours. Yay! It is 4 hours and 38 minutes into the day of July, Wednesday, July 4th. Yeah, it's the 4th of July, 2012. Happy Independence Day, everyone. If you're an American and you... Or anyways, if you believe in free speech, freedom of thought, free expression, and so on and so forth, and the, uh, the ideals of individual freedom, celebrate this is Freedom Day. If you're a socialist, we... Uh, yeah, uh, the announcement in physics is uh, that came out just uh, a, uh, a few, um, well, actually about a half hour ago, is uh, CERN found a uh, new uh, boson at uh, 125.3 uh, gig electron volts, so that's uh, 
uh, considered to be a significant, a significant step in the right direction towards the Higgs boson. So, yay for that! And um, so, uh, in a few hours, uh, I'm going to be leaving and do, uh, spending all day working on uh, the IT, uh, IPTV project that I've been, been, been talking about for a while. Uh, so I'm going to take the next step forward uh, in the IPTV, and uh, uh, a large chunk of it should, not a large chunk, a good chunk of it should be done tomorrow. So I'm going to tap some of the loose ends, some of the loose ends that have occurred so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, that's going to be probably it for today, uh, for the for this uh, vlog. It depends on how I feel tomorrow. I'll probably take the, cam the camera with me to do some vlogging, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Alrighty, it's uh, two hours and 38 minutes in the day of July 5th, uh, Thursday, Wednesday, which is July 4th. We're continuing on with our usual abnormal. Uh, I was out basically from noon to just around 11 o'clock uh, in the evening. Rest of the, that would be uh, 23 hours into the day. So basically from 12 hours to 23 hours, I was out uh, doing uh, work on IPTV. It's coming along well. Uh, some surprises came in. Now the, start, the, the chance is the, it's time to start moving things ahead. So I have to go back next week and do the channel lineup, and uh, we'll see where IPTV goes from here on out. Of course, the law IPTV depends on uh, open internet, so IPTV is part of the open internet project, and we're doing working with one test customer right now. If everything goes well, then I'll start rolling it out to more and more people. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this here. I think this is going to go to uh, the editing bay and then up later on around 5.30, 5, 5.30 in the morning. Alrighty, take it easy. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.